Right, here we are, day four. I've marked out the full perimeter now. Um, you can see with the white string, it's coming about a foot short of the path. There's a little bit of a gap. Um, so I've got 225 between, 2250 between the front and the back strings. So that should give me an internal diameter, an internal distance of just over two meters, two and a bit, 2.1, which should be enough. Anyway, so just uh, digging more holes now. I've used those handily. I've had these um, big long uh, roof battens, which I've used for the, uh, to set out the, the corners to make them square. So I've just used the three, four, five triangle um, to make, to get them square and uh, get digging. <laughs> so that's that hole, first hole dug. That has taken me possibly 40 minutes to dig. So anyway, I'm going to time the next one. There were so many large flint stones in it. So anyway, I'm going to start, I'm going to dig this one now. And uh, we'll time it and see how long it is. Right, there's my mark. There's the time, 15.46. See how long it takes. Right. So here's the hole. I'm down 400. And I've just dug through the kind of topsoil and I'm now into the flint. Times 15.53. So that's, what, eight minutes to dig this far. Now we'll see how long it takes to get through the flint. Right. <laughs> so as luck would have it. There's the mark, you can see, that's 700 deep, and the time is 16.02. That's taken me just 15 minutes. I didn't hit any flint, it dug really easily. So, as, as luck would have it. Anyway, I'll dig the others and I'll time them, I, I shan't do this again, but I will time them and we'll see how long the others take. Finally, I have my evidence. The last hole wet, the, well, the one we just watched and the one after that went absolutely fine. But you can see here now, this rock. And you can see it goes beyond the edge of the hole. And this is what I've, I've just, I've just been chipping away at it with the shovel. Just trying to get through. You can see the rest, the rest of it buried in the side wall. And I'm just having to use the shovel as a, I don't know, a chisel. I'm just chiseling it away and breaking that piece out. And it's just taking forever. And this is, this is like it in quite a lot of holes. This, this, to be fair, this is the worst so far. I've never had one that's actually covered the whole hole. Most of them have been kind of like half or two thirds. And they're a bit, no, not so difficult because you can undermine them. You can dig around the side and then it, they lack support and then you can try and get them out. But this one is just right in the middle. Anyway. So there's gonna be a few extra days at this rate. Well, there it is. I have actually got it loose now. I mean, it's so desperate, I had to use a teaspoon scooping out the mud around the side of it to try and break it loose. Oh, it was loose a minute ago. Anyway, that's what I'm doing. Just scooping the mud out and trying to get it loose. A big load of mud there. It was a wiggling around earlier. It's just unbelievable. Why didn't I dig five holes down this side? And then I would have missed this one. It would have been quicker to dig another hole <laughs> than to dig this one. Unbelievable. Oh, 
just won't come out. <laughs> Unbelievable. You can see down there where I've cut through it with the shovel, and there is actually a lump of concrete. <laughs>